Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you six potent nuts in scouting. So, starting off with the two half hitches, a, ha a ha hitch is a nut that ties a rope something to something. Friction caused by the wraps of the rope holds the hitch in place. So, I'll show you a demonstration of how to tie a two half half hitches first go over then under tighten it and then do the same thing over and under and then you got your two half hitches if you can see I'll do it one more time and then I'll zoom it in and then make sure you've got your like your stick or your pole or something. Put the rope over and then under. If you can see, then you put this string over this one. Then put it under, tighten it. Do the same thing over over this main one and then undo the main one and then tighten it and then you got your two half hitch hitches and then now it's good that's your two half hitches for to so you can tie a rope to something or anything you want so yeah let's move on to the taut line hitch Okay, for the taut line hitch, the taut line hitch is used to make a line tight or taut. It's uh, the knot to use for staking out the guidelines of your tent or dining fly. So, first, put the, wrap the string around like a stake or a pole, and then put the left, left one, on top of the main one and then you put it over like this and then again another one and then over and then through the hole And then that's, I think, your tight line hitch. I, this one's kind of tricky. So I think I did it. Yes, I did. You can move it loosely. Or you can pull it back tightly. Or, or loosely like this. See, that's... How you make the top line hitch. Let's move on to the timber hitch next. So yeah. Now I'll be showing you the timber hitch. The timber hitch is the perfect knot to use for dragging a log across the ground. It is also the knot that starts a diagonal lashing. Here's how to tie a timber hitch. Let's begin. Okay, get your rope, wrap it around a tree or a log, like this, have a lot of slack, like this, then put it over, put this one back under, then put this through the hole, the big hole, and do that like four to five times, make loops at the same big hole, like this. And then tie it up. Do by one more loop. Tie it by. And then make it tight. Pull, push this loop right here. If you can see. Push that loop to make it tighter. Like this. And then now you got your timber hitch. And then now you can put all your weight on it and it's gonna tight 
very tight. I'm putting all my weight. So yeah, and then it's very easy to take apart. This is good for like if you're weak or you can't carry heavy logs, you can tie that timber hitch and then pull pull the um, string back to camp, pull your log back to camp. So yeah, let's move on to the next knot. The clove hitch. Clove comes from the word cleave, meaning to hold fast. A clove hitch can be used to start in most lashings. So, first thing you should do, grab your rope and then pull it around like this and put it over, over this log. Do it again and pull it underneath this loop. Pretty easy and then tie it and it should look like that kind of like an X this should go like this and then that's your clove hitch pretty simple and easy this is like the start of a lash so yeah it should look like that do it again push this on like this then push this on and around this again and then underneath this loop and then that's it let's move on to the next knot okay for the bowline the bowline forms a loop that will not slip that's just uh, that's just what you want for trying a rope around your waist or around someone requiring a rescue a bowline also works as it works well for securing guy lines through the gomets on a tent or dining fly. To make the bowline hitch, make a small loop around with this side. Then take the ends of this rope, put it underneath, over, around, and bring it through the same hole here. And then that's your bowline hitch. And then now you got the bowline hitch. Let's do that again. Make a loop on this side. Like this. P put this end under, over, around, and back in the same hole. And yeah, here's the bowline hitch. The rescue nut. So let's move on to the next, next knot. The final knot is the sheet bend. The sheet bend is a very good knot for tying together two ropes of the same or different diameters. It is close, it is a close re relative, relative of the bowline and can be untied in the same way. So, so yeah. Let's show you the demonstration. You got two pieces of rope. I got like a bigger one and then a smaller one. It doesn't have to be a bigger one or smaller. This is just demonstration. Make the bigger one or any one, any string, make it into a loop like this. You can see. Then you bring the small one through over this one. Then bring it under all of this over the big rope. And then push it together all the way and then tighten it. And then now you got it. Now it's tight very tight and that's the sheet bend it's pretty easy when you loan it and keep doing it over and over you're gonna get the hang of it and this is very strong and then afterwards it's very easy to untie just grab the two loops
and then that's it. That's easy. It just untied that quick. Let's do it again. Make the loop. Just like this. Grab this one, put it under, over, under all of the both ones. Then put it underneath the small one, over the big one. And then push it towards the tip of the big one and then tighten it. And then yeah, that's it. And then that's your sheet band. Pretty tight. Pretty tight and strong. And then when you wanna loosen it, grab this loop right here. And then grab the other loop that is this one. If you can see. Grab those two, try to grab the second one, and that's it. Very easy. So yeah, these are the six most important scout knot knots you should know for survival or for help helpful knots to know. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and yeah, see you next video. Peace out.